Now, I wonder, are you a digital immigrant like me who grew up before computers and the internet? Or are you a digital native where technology has always been part of your life? It's hard to imagine not being able to communicate by email, using a smartphone to chat or to look up things, or sharing posts on Facebook. Yet, did you realise the first personal computer didn't make its debut until 1976? And the World, the World Wide Web, WWW, was built in 1991, around the same time computers and the internet were introduced into schools. It wasn't until 1998 that Google was launched, yet it seems like we've always had Google around, followed by Facebook in 2004. Ten years after the invention of mobile phones, we also had the first iPhone, which is probably much later than we all realise, uh, and that was in 2007. Of course, since then, the application of digital technology has led to many advances, such as faster and smarter phones, um, smart TVs, cloud computing, apps, and lots more. So now I'm really interested in seeing what comments you have hopefully made to share with everyone about how digital technology is being used in your classrooms. So I will just go and check the chat box. So Alba, yours was the first comment, but I might need a bit of information. You've used an acronym and I'm not quite sure what you meant. So if you want to pop in your response again about going from A to B, that would be great. Um, Jacqueline says, year seven and eight students are using VPL, so that's visual programming language in classrooms, and Scratch is a program being used. Yes, Jacqueline, that does seem to be the program that's most used. And if you're involved in any way with VPL and Scratch, or if you have an opinion on what it's like, we would love to hear some more from you. Alba has had experience with pro programming of BeeBots. They're lots of fun. I think Alba now, BeeBots come for different year levels, but I'm wondering whether you are working with some younger students. I would love to hear from you about the age group you use it with. Robin says that they have BeeBots in prep. Monique says Kahoot quizzes. So I've heard of Kahoot, but I'm not, I don't quite recall what they are. And maybe other people also aren't sure if you wanted to add a bit more information. Oh, Alba, you're doing that with pre-primaries. Yes, makes sense. And Michelle says they have B-Bots in prep at Red Lynch State College. Sake also uses B-Bots with prep. B-Bot is such a friendly looking little robot and so easy to program that it's, it's a wonderful, fun way to get started. Jacqueline Mack says, I'm new to using Scratch and at this stage I'm finding it intriguing and, and interesting. I'm learning along with the students. That's the best way, isn't it, Jacqueline, to, to learn as the students learn. Thai says, in prep classes that I work for, the teacher used visual programming language for sight words and to create fun writing and learning. So yeah, thanks. We can see how, you know, Coding can be used for lots of things and, and if it's to create fun writing and learning activities, it really goes across so many areas. Uh, Beck says we have B-Bots for the younger grades, Sphero, Sphero's for the young older grades and we also have Lego Mindstorm, which is, uses robots, but um, Beck hasn't seen that used yet. I wonder if any of your schools are part of any of the Hour of Code or any of the robotics competitions. We'd love to know that too. Oh, and the other thing that um, the teacher uses uh, the VPL for is fun drawing. Renee says we use it with primary school students to do things like maths, measure the classroom and create scale versions in Minecraft. Yeah, it's great to apply reality to Minecraft like that. And Jacqueline says, we have also used Minecraft recently in geography classes at year seven and eight. The students were fully immersed in creating their new cities. They were used to create a VR city that is sustainable in the future. How amazing. Mindstorm EV3 robots is um, Cheryl's explanation. We have competitions with primary and high schools. Okay, so Mindstorm is a Legos EV3 um, robots. There are so many words to be 
to become familiar with, isn't there? A lot of them are kind of brand names, but they become everyday names. And Alba says their school participates in robotics. So I guess what, what we got out of that conversation was that lots of you were involved in uh, digital technologies to some degree. Um, you seem to be really engaging with it, with your students, learning with them as you go along. You're familiar with lots of terms such as Scratch and VPL, and you also are having a go. So you know, I, I think that is really what digital technologies is all about.